think one thing they could do is wear white ribbons on their jerseys and their uniforms to raise awareness. I've been an athlete for a long time. I know there's, there's, a, there's a stigma and sort of a pressure that goes around in locker rooms. Um, it's engaging between players and sometimes even between the coaches. And I think, I think you're almost sort of expected to act a certain way and you do and then you end up do you do end up acting that way. But the attitudes that you have, they end up they often end up leaving the field and they end up becoming part of the way you interact with women all the time. If you want to look at it from the athletic team point of view, you know what I mean? That group mentality, that group support system is something that could certainly be of effect. More uh, mixed mixed games, you know, have a game where there's men and women on the same team and play together, you know, and just the togetherness will just show unity. You, you know who's going to capitalize on a, on a bad situation, like, don't stand for it. You see someone coming on to me or something, then you can just come and grab me. If she hasn't given you consent, you should stay away from her and acknowledge her and let her have the joy and peace she deserves. It's really just having the courage to speak up when they see, you know, a woman, a woman potentially being taken advantage of. When everything's done, all, everyone's done partying, I mean, definitely checking in on them if they got home safe. Making sure that like the person that they, they're leaving with is someone that you trust. Establishing ground rules. There could be some sort of uh, agreement that everyone has that still allows everyone to have fun, but also creates a safe uh, place. I really like awareness, bringing awareness to the topics that, let's say, that go on instead of like rape culture especially. Like more or less just advertising it to people and then bring awareness to them and letting them know that things like this does go on. I think like if you had an information session on how to party safe, that would work too, you know, like these, there's these stereotypes or these are these things that happened in the past, you know, like crap, like weird, like, you know, scary stories about like, you know, women and even men, like bad stuff happening to them. If they're aware of the problem, then they can have a solution and they can move towards a solution for that problem.